superannuation options when we reach retirement down in Australia. Hi there, if you're new to the channel, Jared Brown here, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore, working with Australians in Singapore and across the globe to master their money and plan for their retirement. Now, one of the common questions that we get asked by both Australian expats and Australian residents is what are my options with my super once I reach retirement age? Do I have to cash it all in? Do I have to leave it with my current super fund? Do I get a pension? How does it all actually work? And what do my options actually look like? And of course, which one is the right one for me to consider? Well, in simple terms, we have four key options when it comes to our super when we reach a condition of release. Now, for the majority of people, that is going to be reaching age 65 and either retiring or continuing to work. If you reach age 60 and you have ceased an employment arrangement, often you can convert your super into a pension as well, and the withdrawal options can also apply. But let's have a look at the four options when it comes to our superannuation when we retire down in Australia. Now the first option is to leave your superannuation in what is called accumulation phase. Now when we are working in Australia when we haven't reached that retirement age yet or a condition of release, our superannuation is in what is called accumulation phase. We're working, we're accumulating wealth, our super fund is hopefully growing over time to provide for that comfortable retirement later on. Now, in accumulation phase, we have tax that applies within our super fund. It is the same tax rate across super funds. It doesn't differ fund to fund. It is mandatory payable by the, uh, the superannuation funds down in Australia. And that tax rate is applicable for dividends and applicable for interest or capital gains realised within the fund itself. Now that tax rate is 15.15. There is a small discount, so if we hold assets for more than 12 months within our super fund, that tax rate can drop by one third, so from 15% right down to 10%. So if we decide to keep our superannuation and accumulation phase at retirement, we might be still working, maybe we don't need that money yet, we don't want to withdraw any of it just yet, or we might even be living and residing in a country where that pension or that income stream would be taxable, so we're far better off just leaving it alone. We of course need to be mindful of the fact that there would be that 10 to 15% uh, tax rate payable because we stay in accumulation phase. So that's option one. Now option two is to convert our superannuation into an account-based pension and draw an income stream. Now there is a minimum amount that we must draw each year and that is based on your age. So for example, if you're between 60 and 65, we typically need to withdraw at least 4% each year. As we get to 65, that, that increases rather to 5% from four. So it's important to check exactly what that minimum drawdown rate looks like each and every year when you are retired. Now, that pension stream, if you're an Australian tax resident, is typically taxed at a rate of zero. It is tax-free income paid to you by your superannuation fund. And that can provide that level of income for as long, obviously, as your money lasts and can continue to support that income. So that is option two. Option three is to withdraw a lump sum. Now that might be a full withdrawal from your superannuation fund. So you might convert your super into pension mode, so into that account-based pension, and then make a full withdrawal. You might have a million dollars in super. You might decide to withdraw that full $1 million into your own name. Of course, you need to be very mindful of the tax implications. If you're in Australia, that tax rate is typically going to be nil, but if you reside in different countries, that country may impose tax on that foreign pension income. So whether it's an income or it's drawn as a lump sum, it's very important to understand what the tax implications look like in your country of residence, not only in Australia. And of course, option four is a combination of two and three making a lump sum withdrawal. You might be renovating a house, providing some money for the kids, the grandkids, maybe even the great grandkids 
to go to school or whatever it might be, but you might need that lump sum withdrawal made before the income stream starts. So you might take out 100 or 200 or 500,000 when you first retire, you might need to renovate or whatever it might be, and then start that regular income stream via your account-based pension to support your retirement lifestyle. So there you have it, the four options when it comes to your superannuation, leaving it in accumulation phase, paying the tax, not withdrawing. Two, drawing that regular income stream. Three, taking out the lump sum. And four, taking both a lump sum and an income stream throughout your retirement. I hope that clarifies what your options look like when you retire, when it comes to your super. But drop me a note with any questions you have. Appreciate you taking the time to check out the video. Do remember to like, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.